So, what's up my lovely viewers? Part two. At the top part of the graveyard now. Last week you saw me investigate the bottom half and I did have a lot of activity. Now I'm back at the top half, trying to communicate with these spirits. The pathway going down, I'm not sure how far that does go down. It's a little locker. Oh my. As you saw in uh, part one, there was a guy called Alan who wants to uh, communicate with me. Um, that's a blooper on camera right then, guys. I almost fell over. Um, there was a guy called Alan who wanted to communicate with, with me in part one. Oh, that's a very old grave. Oh. Okay. Oh my, I fell over on camera right then, guys. Oh. That's the second time that's happened this week. I, I did it the other day, I was doing an Instagram Live and I uh, almost fell in an alley. Oh my. It's need to start being more careful when I'm talking. Oh. However, I haven't actually fell over. Only close cause. That would have been a real funny blooper if I did fall over on camera. You'd all be laughing then, wouldn't you? Anyway, uh, this is why I don't get it, you know, it's a graveyard. People come near litter in it. I just saw somebody in front of my very own eyes, right? And uh, it was in the making of part one. It was, it was really disrespectful. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say this. Uh, I don't know who she was. But uh, she, she had a bottle of coke in her hands and... Uh, visiting someone down by there and uh just poured the coke out next to a grave and i'm like well don't do it in the graveyard it's, it's, it's just complete disrespect you know to be honest like i don't see how people can actually get away with that and think it's funny because it's not you know you want to go and pour a drink out do it out on the street don't come into a graveyard and do it you know you have all day for that if you don't want to drink leave it in your car leave the cemetery then pour it out but some people just don't use their heads and tiny right so this is the top half. The reason I'm by here is you can't really see any graves because they're behind the trees. So it'd be harder to get names on the camera, which is a good thing. Um, obviously, we don't want to have names on the camera if we can help it. Obviously, as I said, it's just completely disrespect to the spirits and to the souls who are resting in peace who don't want to communicate. Um, however, I did hear a Mary earlier in part one, as you guys know. There was uh, two Marys I said, is it on the right or the left? It said left. She, she wanted to communicate with me, obviously. After this video, by the, by the way, well, in the making of this video, I've got five weeks worth of content. This is January the 17th, and this should last me until February. So, that is quite amazing. Oh, what's that? What's that? It's like a special sort of... Oh. It's like a special sort of, um... Bench in the cemetery. Can we go in there? Is it open? Uh, yeah, you can do it. Do that. It's up. No, it's locked. It's locked. Can't, can't get in there. But, 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 but what's that supposed to mean? It's just a random bench in the... In the... Weird. I haven't saw that before. It's just a closed up bench. What do I need? I'm putting the camera at myself. I don't know. Point it at any graves. Um, and this is actually a really big cemetery. Bigger than I actually expected, it's got dozens. Again, it goes further down there. Oh my. Somebody else is here. Somebody else is here. I'm gonna... Okay. You know, I can't go any further down there, guys. It's too muddy and falling over. Yeah, well, quite interesting, really. 
You know, like even when I went to the um, the one in Terefin, which is where we had the face on the tree, which creeped many out, uh, which is uh, really creepy. Um, and uh, what that like people to be in the trees anyway. When I went there, I thought that was big. Well, that was nothing compared to this one. This one is literally massive. Um, I'm trying to find a good place to use the spirit box about people driving past thinking I'm off my head. Um, I would have used it over in there actually, but uh, you can't even open the gate and I'm not going to step over the wall because obviously it's, uh, it's locked up like it is for a reason. I don't want to be the person to go trespassing. I don't need trespass, um, you know, if it's a uh, way into a built building that are actually breaking in and the building isn't used, I wouldn't just walk into there if it's actually in a graveyard because that's even more disrespectful. It could be a bench in somebody's memorable name. I wouldn't want to cross over that wall and start sitting on that bench using the spirit box. It's just completely disrespectful to do. I could use it down by here. That's very, very nice and open. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Yeah, you could please use it. Yeah, definitely. Down by here. Down with there, I use it. Die. Well, yeah. Um, bye. Use it. A lot of sirens going off today. Must be honest. That is a very old grave. You can see, nice little footpath. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Better than walking in the mud and getting my shoes muddy. Right, let's get a spirit box suit back out. I'm not going to be using the K2 meter in this video, as it, you know, it didn't really go very well just then either. I don't want to keep messing around with it. See ya. Oh, my hair's looking nice in this one. I remember filming a video the other day and my hair was all stuck up like, looked like the devil. I had, a, I had a hair sticking up there and a hair sticking up over there. I had two horns coming off me. That's not gonna happen again. Okay. Well, it's been fairly quiet today. It's been a few cars go past. Uh, it's been fairly quiet. You know, I've had, more, more or less had the place to myself, more, more or less. Which is what I do like, a nice investigation. Oh, you know, I have been thinking, it's got to be a graveyard like I can do one day. Overnight, like an actual whole overnight challenge at a graveyard. That would be amazing. Like, um, I don't know, not, obviously not this one, because this is a proper... Graveyard where it is a property on, just down by there. So I don't want to be staying at this one, but I might. Isn't it? But I ever go back to the Dreadmoor and do an overnight one there, in the same spot where I found that thing of the devil. You know, it it, it could happen. I mean, it was a very weird, what, what looked like the devil. You know, where I had a lot of that activity happening, where uh, you know, about Rosie and all that. That could be very interesting if I had to do an overnight there. But I wouldn't go there alone ever. That is one of the most dangerous guys. I'll be honest. That's one of the most dangerous locations, most satanic locations I've ever been to. Complete, complete satanic hideout in the middle of that graveyard that hardly anyone knows about. But if you find it, be very careful, guys, because I'm telling you, something did touch me that day on part four. I'm telling you guys, that, that was very weird. Then they had the statue then. Um, I thought that was the only bit of it. But like, we went there to investigate the statue, but in the end, took a little walk around the graveyard and find that little hidden spot just stashed away in the middle of it. And that's what creeped me out, because when you go to that part of the graveyard, you just see more vandalism and cans. You knew then somebody was going to that part of the graveyard hiding out. And then when you saw what was on the video, which was um, a face, that's when you've got to start, you know, realising that some things you do and go to are very dangerous indeed, but you just don't know how dangerous they are until you do it, like uh, that graveyard. I will say, if you're a paranormal investigator, go there with caution, because I'm telling you, that is one of the most dangerous places, possibly, in the whole of Torvine that I've covered. It is one of the most nastiest, evilest places ever. I said, do you want me out of here? Do something. As soon as I said that, something touched my back. Very, very strange. Okay. I'll make it clear to the spirits I'm communicating with on this part of the graveyard. 
as I did just down below. You have no right to harm me or attach yourself to me or any of my equipment whatsoever. Is that understood? Ian, Ian, that was a clear Ian. Is there an Ian here? Let me have a little look. Is there an Ian here? Is there an Ian nearby? All I can see, just a lot of Johns. A lot of Johns. Um, John, John. Huh. But no, there's no e there, there's no Ian. I don't see no, no Ian. Ah, these are the older graves. That's what I just recognized. Where I was earlier, I thought they were the older graves. Nah, these were the older graves. Look at these ones, to, to, to the ones we just saw, which were clear, black, grey, new, shiny greys. These ones are the older ones, as you can see, just looking at them. Yeah, definitely. And I thought they were the older ones. Nah, these are the older ones, right here. As you can see, all overgrown greys. And I will say, and this, gra this graveyard though is pretty tidy, they, they do take good care of it. I, I will say that, you know, they do take pretty good care of it, you know, it's all in good care. Quite definitely. Yeah. Ian. Ian again, Ian again. Who is this Ian? Ian, do you want to communicate with me? Ian does. Ian, can you speak for yourself then? Ian, do you want to communicate with me? I don't get that guy, it's right. Hold on a minute. Down by there, there was a Mary and there was a man communicating for her, telling me Mary wanted to communicate with you. And now up here, there's a woman communicating for me, telling me Ian wants to communicate with me. She just said, do, I said, Ian, do you want to communicate with me? And she goes, Ian does. But can't Ian tell me that himself? I mean, why should you talk in for him? I'm not like they're playing mind games with me. Ian, can you speak for yourself, please? Is there even an Ian here? Ian, are you here? Is that a Ewan or Yian? Is there a Ewan or Yian here? No, it wasn't just John's, wasn't it? It was just John's. Could be a Ewan or Yian over there, but I'll be looking all day because those graves are very old. You can't even see, see the names on them. Uh, Rich? Did you say Rich? Who's rich? Yayan, it was Yayan, it was Yayan. Yayan. Oh no, no, I think I said who's rich, and he goes, I am, I am. All right, all right. Jared, yeah, that's me, That that is me. Be safe? Why have I got to be safe? Are there any bad spirits here? Painting? Painting? Who's painting? Who's painting? What do you want to tell me about a painting for? What's this painting got to do with me? Okay, I'm gonna try something else now, spirits. Hold on. Right. A guy in October got offended in one of my investigations, and I admit I've done completely wrong with this investigation. Um, no, it was September, sorry. Uh, not October. Um, I did wrong. I was just starting ghost hunting. I went to a location and I asked irrelevant questions. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, I just and say this investigation was called a man committed suicide and I did ask completely irrelevant questions to what I was investigating and a man did point that out and ever since that I've been on track I've only asked questions linked to the area anyway um, I asked very relevant questions on the necrophonic and the man said well look you know when you're using this necrophonic app it's brilliant 
but what you should do is try communicating with these spirits just using the environment and I'm like how do you do that I, I can't do that and what, what what he basically meant by that was is to try asking them to just show a small sign they're there which I haven't ever really asked often I did at the scary day and I said you know can you make a few noises here and there but I haven't actually said uh, you know really show me a sign you're here which I'm going to do now so any spirits here here I don't know if this is going to work by the way guys because uh, it hasn't worked for me yet but this Gaz, I think his name is Gaz, you know, he, he did point out that, you know, this does this does work, you just got to keep trying it. But, uh, you know, if it is a very haunted location, which today is not, well, I won't call it haunted, because uh, but it is a lot of activity here, and uh, it possibly could try it out. Can you make a sound to show me you're here? Can you do something? Show me a sign you're here. If you want to communicate with me, show me a sign you're here. Chuck something. Chuck a stick. Make a sound. Make a bang. Do whatever. Play that back. It was like a stone, just hit a grave, it was like a stone. It's not like it from over here. It was like, I said, uh, chat something, it was like a little, it was like a little, hold on, it was like a little sound. Gave from over there. But yeah, you know, this technique, it doesn't exactly, I wouldn't call it the best technique, but Gaz did say some, sometimes it's good to try this technique out, because it, you know, it could, it could definitely be a really good technique to use. Make a sound. No? Okay. Okay. The reason I'm being quiet, guys, is just so we can listen out for sounds, because uh, I have to say there's a really good technique. And this guy was a ghost hunting fan, he was really good. And just to make sure I checked his account, he was subscribed to a lot of ghost hunting people. So obviously he does know a little bit about ghost hunting. So that's why I'm just listening to his advice. Yeah, these graves are very old. Look, look at these. That one looks actually re, re, re put in place. Oh, what's this building? Wait, what? That is creepy. That is creepy. It's got like a uh, bit of a broken door and covered windows. Really creepy. Wonder what's in there. Is there another door? Bit of clothing. What, what clothing is that? A jacket. Chuck the. Wow. Absolutely wow. Okay, so I'm going to give the spirit box one more go before I do leave here today. Um, you know, it's been a lovely investigation, but let's give it one more go. And then next week we'll see you again. But uh, as I said, don't leave yet because I still got one more spirit box session to go. Um, and Tom, if you're watching this right now, thank you for being the moderator, keeping an eye on the comments. You probably are in the chat right now, watching through, making sure everything's going as planned, which is what you should be doing. If you have any trolls do join, make sure you give them the boot, as I would too. That's what he is there for. 
Good old Tom Roberts, that's what he was there for. Right. I think I have got two moderators on my channel. I think I've got Ramim R and Pulse Plus, aka Tom Roberts. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Is there any spirits now? What was that? What was that? So if any spirits in now actually want to communicate with me and let me know you are here. Yes? Want to tell me your name? Want to tell me your name? Want, want to tell me your name? Tell me your name? Bert. 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 So this very clear Bert. Is there a bird here? No, can't find a bird. Dan? Did, did, did it just say Dan? I think it said Bert or Dan. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. That was a Glenn. Very weird, very weird. I must say thank you to all you spirits for communicating with me today. And I mean, even the spirits down there communicate with me. Thank you all um, to communicate with me. You really do help me out make, make these videos and uh, give me a nice video. So thank you all for communicating. It's very hugely appreciated. I want to say I want you all to rest in peace. Um, I don't know if I, will, if I will come back to this graveyard. If I do, it might be years from now. But thank you all for communicating with, with me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. So, guys, very clear today. Um, we've had a few um, spirits invest, uh, few spirits investigate, few spirits communicate with me. Um, very good indeed. Um, certainly a great location. I've also had a lot of activity here. Um, it wasn't as much as I had in the Terrafian graveyard. That was really the big graveyard. That was really the top graveyard. But you know, there was definitely a lot of spirits here who communicated with me. Um, but yeah, we are still on lockdown. As soon as it ends, guys, I am going further. I know I keep saying it, but I am. I've literally got, guys, you can believe this or not, I've already got um, locations lined up to last me this year. But ready, I've got lots. I really have got lots. And then I'll have more then the next year. And then, you know, more again. It's just completely lovely, guys. I am saving up, you know, I am, I am doing my best to do what I can. Thank you all for watching. All of you stay safe. All of you smash the like button if you can. If you want to smash the dislike button, go ahead. It really does mean a lot because you give me feedback. So thank you all for watching. All of you stay safe. Have a great day.